This season has been a pit of unrelenting misery for Everton, as torrid form has given way to a seemingly unresolvable financial crisis. Farhad Moshiri has completely lost interest and as such the club is reliant on dubious external investment just to keep the lights on. It is a sad state of affairs for a club so rich in tradition, forced into such a state by a disgraceful owner. His desperation to leave is not surprising given the way he regressed the Toffees and is now facing a second PSR sanction. Although they have had some success in their recent appeal, it may not be enough to ensure safety if they receive further punishment. While Everton are expected to once again fail to comply with the PSR, there is also an expectation that the previous sanction will offer a new defense against another major punishment. Therefore, whilst point deduction remains entirely possible, any sanction, probably another six-point penalty, would have to be reduced by two-thirds. This is due to the fact that two of the three years in question had already been attempted at the beginning of this campaign. Writing for The Athletic, Paddy Boyland offered an insight into what the club and league think about the matter. The fact is that Everton and the Premier League believe there has been another breach, at least if the league follows its stance on how interest costs are handled and that player X's loss does not mitigate overspending. The Premier League has made a mess this season. Although football's finances were clearly out of control, the way the Premier League has attempted to contain it is disgraceful. After all, opting for Everton and Nottingham Forest, whilst restricting Aston Villa and Newcastle, shows a clear bias towards the ambitious few looking to disrupt the traditional Big Six. However, they are the ones who have enough financial power to choose the best players from these teams as and when they want, thus resulting in the division's monopoly. While Chelsea spends with reckless freedom and Manchester City and Manchester United have dominated the transfer market for a decade, little old Everton has been crushed under the Premier League's dominating weight for the most minute infractions. They are guilty, and probably will be again this time, but the hope is that those deciding punishment will come to a much more measured conclusion about the right sanction for such an alleged crime. Regardless, the Premier League's handling of this season has been a sham, negatively affecting everyone under its umbrella.